Welcome. In front of me is a Realme GT7 Pro and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, before we get started, I want to quickly mention that we will need a, another device for this. Uh, so we will need to have access to it, obviously, and it will need to have internet connection as we will be I haven't checked it yet, but I'm assuming we're going to be uh, copying over the data from this device to this one uh, by just glitching the copy data option on this phone. Though this is a speculation, I haven't, like I said, checked out the guide fully yet. So in any case, um, so that's one requirement. And I also want to point out uh, you can use basically any Android for this, but if it said Android is like the cheapest thing you can possibly have, uh, it probably won't work because those very cheap phones typically have function that we'll need turned off. Uh, that function is draw over other apps, I think that's how it's called. And uh, it's used by the cloning applications for some reason. And without that option being enabled on a phone by default, like locked away for, from you, you have no way of turning it on. Therefore, you cannot actually use the application to move over the data. Uh, but like I said, that's typically uh, associated with like the very cheap devices. Now, moving to our phone right here, the locked one, you can see I have a pattern uh, that it, the device is locked with. Uh, again, I haven't checked out the guide yet, so I'm just gonna quickly show if there is going to be a pattern uh, drawing kind of thing that we're gonna be setting up. Uh, this does not work, which is what I will be using in case. Uh, now we can also close this and use a Google account instead. So there we go, verify your account. Now, to get started, what you want to do is progress. If you're at the very beginning of the setup, progress forward, connect to your network like I have done so right over here. And then we're gonna click on the eye icon next to it. Now, before I do so, I want to kind of like block it. Okay, no password visible yet. Um, so once you click on the eye icon right here, now you need to be connected to the network. I want to point out, if you do this, for instance, for a network that you're not connected, you can see we're lacking options. So make sure you do it after you connect to network. And then you wanna select the share option right here. Now this will definitely show a QR code that you can use to connect to networks. So I am gonna kind of like do this. And there is also a password right above the quick share. But anyway, that is good enough. So. Once you click on the share, you can see we have the QR code right here and a couple options below here. So what you want to do is select quick share. Uh, we're gonna select continue. And from here, click on the three dots, navigate to settings click on this blue text right here at the bottom, learn more about quick share. And from here, we want to now, let's see, select, which one is it? Looking for the option called interact with uh, interact with apps and people around you, but am I just blind? Oh, it's at the very bottom, so you can see it right here. Interact with apps and other people. That's when I want to click on. And next, we want to select a check Wi-Fi or mobile connection. So there we go, we wanna click on this. This is a drop down menu. And next we're gonna select oh. once you select it, make sure you click right here on mobile network option. Next, scroll down until uh, we have some video. Oh, there we go. We have a video. I'm gonna click on it. Then you want to click on the name of it. So this title right here at the top, the white one. In so this video, mm. we'll show you how to check. I'm gonna mute it. 
gonna scroll down and here you can select reject all I presume yep there we go and we want to select the oh there we go account icon right here click on the settings so once we click on the settings now you want to go to there we go I think it's about Google privacy policy now the about was blocked by this thing and I didn't want to click on view because that would redirect me. So after a moment, it does disappear. Once you click on about, from here, we can go to Google privacy policy and this will open up our browser. And from here, it's just going to be an easy uh, sailing or smooth sailing, I guess. Um, so click right here, use without an account. No thanks. And you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. like so next we're gonna continue right here for some reason it open up trash uh, anyway let's scroll down and we're looking for settings up once you click on it it takes you to the settings of the device from your web browser and here you want to select home screen and a lock screen right over here and then select home screen layout now this glitches out for some reason when it's in setup and takes you to the home screen actually uh, without actually opening up the option that we click on which is the way we want it to that's kind of how it works um, and here we're just gonna swipe through to another page and we're looking for uh, the clone phone app which I think it's yep, it's this one in the middle so that's what we want to click on uh, and select that this is a new device allow other devices under Android and here is our phone prepped so I'm gonna scoot it over right here and bring into view the other device it's the one that I can actually use make it a little bit brighter so whoa not that bright there we go I think that's good enough so uh, you want to open up your Play Store gonna click on the search option and we are going to look for clone phone and we're looking for this one right over here now this technically is not Oppo but I, if I remember correctly, these are all owned by the same parent company. So you have Realme, Oppo, and uh, OnePlus, and they basically all use the same kind of cloning uh, application. Now this is actually a Oppo device, so this application already is installed on my phone. So what I need, what I can do is just select Open, or actually if I uninstall it. I can actually uninstall it. So uh, typically it would look like this. So from here you just click on Install. then open and then we're gonna select agree and continue settings set well that's one of the problems that I was talking about um, see if I can actually fix this up info permissions so we have apparently no permission so you know what I'm just gonna go like this Now, the reason I'm basically enable all, all, all of this is because there's nothing really showing up as the option that I need in here, and I don't even know if that will work. But in a second, I guess I'll find out. Mm, where is it? There we go. Okay, so this apparently won't work, great. Um, so I'm gonna go grab another device, fantastic design there. Um, okay, so uh, it took me a moment to actually find a phone that was signed in. 
So here we have one and uh, again I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna search for clone phone, there we go. Install. Open, agree and continue. Scan the QR code and OK. And for some reason, uh, their application has this kind of a very unintuitive design. Uh, I don't know if this is just lost in translation, but we first need to deauthorize it so we can authorize it. Anyway, we will see that a couple more times. But uh, the first time we click on it, you can see it opens up the camera. So hover it over and before we can connect, we're gonna deauthorize that connection and then I guess authorize it again. Settings and then find the clone phone app. There we go. I'm gonna toggle it on, go back. And it's connecting. And there we go, now it's connected. So uh, once we basically connect these two devices, we want to now see I basically deselect everything like so and we want to have the only apps checked actually there we go so apps settings toggle on go back next now you want to click on well, deselect all the apps and then click on the apps itself as a text and here select only a single application I recommend selecting anything that has the lowest number here so we have 37 megabytes 70 60 17 so this one seems to be the smallest one anything maybe in kilobytes nope okay, so for me this is going to be the smallest file size right here. So that's what I'm going to select. The reason you want to select the smallest one is because it's going to take faster to transfer it over. Again, we're going to deauthorize, allow, and then start migrating. Start migrating. And it's done. So let's get rid of this device. It just finished copying it over right here as well. So once it's done, uh, we want to select transitor complete. Uh, let's just make sure. Okay, so um, discrepancy in the guide, it tells us to press the done button. We don't have done button, we have resume for some reason. So that's what I'm gonna click. And then we have the done, which wasn't really mentioned. So uh, one more thing. You can see in migration report we have failed one. This matters. That does not matter whatsoever. It might have succeeded for you, it might have failed. All in all, it the, the process have actually succeeded in itself. I can actually press on the done button, there we go. Um, and as you can see, once you click on it, it takes you to the uh, portion past the verification process. So here we're just gonna select skip, later, more, Agree, and done, and get started. And you can see we are now for the second time in the home screen. Now, what we need to do as a last process, because the device is still locked, is we just need to navigate into the settings, and then in the main settings page, you wanna scroll down to system and update, and then select backup, reset, reset phone, erase all data, clear and then click on the clear button second time and with that being said hopefully you found this very helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching